So welcome to this uh, new tutorial for Salome Maker 2017. I'm Cyprian from FEA for All and in this tu tutorial we'll talk about how to uh, associate contact between two parts. So that's something which is uh, in uh, normal commercial FEA software very uh, easy to do. Uh, but in open source uh, and in Salome Maker it's not necessarily as, as uh, easy as we will see during this video. So uh, I will first create a very simple model and then I'll show you how to uh, how to make a fixed contact or you can call that glued contact as you want between two faces uh, and you can use the same uh, strategy if you have a system with several parts. So let's start by uh, creating a model. So I'll I really create the most simple possible model. So I create two boxes, one uh, here and another one. Well, let's put the X at 400. Okay, so uh, the boxes are immediately uh, adjacent and I will use, I will want to create a contact here. So the thing I'll do uh, is very simple. I'll uh, fix one of the side here, I'll apply some kind of pressure on the other side and I will define a contact between those two parts. So I'll show you how to uh, do that in this video. So first thing uh, we need to do, so I created the two blocks but we still need uh, we still need the groups on the geometry in order to be able to define both uh, the condition here, the condition here and the contact condition. So let's do that. Geometry. Okay, we still we we'll stay in the geometry module. Uh, and let's go in new entity group and let's create some groups. So let's check and change to surface. And let's select the surface here and let's call it. Okay, let's give it a name. Let's call it left. Okay, left because it's on the left. Okay, apply. Uh, let's let's now create another group on the other side. Let's call it right. Apply. So you see that now in the walk tree, I have two groups, left and right. Um, and what would I need? So maybe I need some groups for the volume also. So let's create two groups as well for the volumes. So let's check that the volume. Okay. Um, also, there's something uh, I did is that okay, I associated both uh, groups to the box two, which is not necessarily true because the left is uh, on the box one. So let's just do that again. Let's delete this one. Let's select the box one and let's create again a group. So maybe it will work also, but you know, uh, I prefer to change directly. Otherwise it will be uh, more difficult to change that after that. Okay, so let's do it again, left. Okay. Um, and let's create also some contact group. So for the face here uh, of the, the block, so let's call it, let's call it um, contact one. Okay, contact one. Uh, as a side note, when you write a name of a group, never left us never leave a space in between uh, the name and the number or something because it causes a lot of problem afterwards when you launch the analysis and then you have to change all the names and it's uh, it's not easy to do so okay now let's select again the box 2 and let's uh, let's hide let's hide the box 1 keep the box 2 and I don't know why it's like that. Let's uh, okay. Uh, I okay. I understand now. So I do a small mistake. Uh, I thought that it would translate the box uh, here, but actually it created a box which is bigger. Okay. So sorry about that. Let's delete this and let's create another box. Uh, let's say well, let's create another box like that. 
and it's instead let's translate it okay so maybe you notice that I could have simply copied the box and you would have been right okay apply close okay let's let's just check that everything is correct now so um, this is a translated box the box 2 is over the box okay so I don't need the box 2 here uh, anymore so delete this one yep oh sorry it uh, it was actually linked to the translation okay you see it's not necessarily uh, so straightforward as I said so let's um, let's directly do let's directly do a translation over this box of 200 and let's create a copy apply and close okay so now this is my box 2 this is my box 1 let's change back the name to uh, box 2 oh I don't know why it box okay when I I know there's a kind of problem with the naming okay anyway let's create like that box 2 and let's call the one box 1 okay um, okay so I still have my two faces here but I don't have any more the groups created on the box 2 so let's uh, let's create that again new so sometimes you know uh, very simple things can uh, take some time when you're using open source but some people would say that this uh, this is also part of the open source part of the joy to to do open source so if you want something easy well rather go with something uh, commercial software something like that okay anyway uh, let's assign that here and let's create right apply let's hide the box one and uh, okay, let's create the contact face here that I call contact 2 okay and let's create a volumic uh, group 2 so volume okay let's add it so this will be volume for box 2 okay incorrect data I don't know why let's okay let's try again so well box 2 is selected obviously I think it's created something but I don't know why it tells me there's incorrect data uh, maybe it works so let's try now for uh, box 1 box 1 okay box 1 volume and let's select the volume and that let's call it box one apply and close okay now I have three groups here three groups here uh, and let's go into the next step which is the meshing step so let's activate the boxes again okay so now I need uh, to create two mesh sets one for each box so let's uh, let's do that create mesh box one and here let's just use uh, this algorithm the netgen 1 2 d 3 d so I will only have to define um, the, the max size so let's let's uh, leave it like that for the moment well maybe I can I can use second order uh, I'll get better results but anyway I'll probably refine that later on so anyway okay apply uh, let's select the box 2 and let's apply and close so I have two okay two mesh sets now so let's just compute those mesh sets close 
compute. Okay, I got that. I can I can hide the geometry now. Okay, uh, and now I need to create the mesh set for the mesh. Uh, otherwise, I won't be able to apply all the boundary conditions. So let's go into mesh here, and there is a command very useful: create groups from geometry. Now we have to go uh, for first for the mesh one, select uh, the elements. We so the groups here. Okay, apply that and those are automatically converted into groups of volume and groups of faces. Okay, now let's, let's select the mesh number two and let's do the same thing. Okay, apply and close. Okay, I have everything I need. Okay, let's save that. Um, now I think it's ready for the, the Aster study phase. So let's go to Aster study. And let's start to build the analysis. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, at a stage first, and now we start by um, by reading the mesh. And there is now there is two mesh sets this time. So we have to read the mesh two times. Um, and there's something I didn't mention in the, I think in previous videos is that if you have already a mesh which is loaded in the mesh module, you don't have to click on the button here to load. Uh, the mesh from the, the files, you can directly click here and select the mesh you want. And the the, the bonus uh, and the advantage to do that is that if you go back in the mesh module, you modify the groups, uh, it will automatically be updated here. But if you don't, you you open that and you load it from a from a, a mesh file, then every time you go back to the mesh module, you modify the groups, you will have to export again the mesh to open it again here. So that's a bit more cumbersome. So I, I prefer this way. Okay, so let's create mesh one. Okay, and let's read the second mesh, mesh two, that I will call mesh two. Okay, um, and now what we need to do is to um, to assemble those mesh into one mesh set, uh, so we can assign all the other things to one uh, one assembly of mesh sets rather than uh, creating a model for each of the mesh set, which is would be uh, difficult. So, and there is a command for that called uh, as uh, mayage. So it it means I think uh, affect uh, no assemble assemble the the mesh. So maillage in French, I, rem I remind you, means uh, mesh. So uh, it means assemble the mesh. So let's assemble, let's create an assembly of the mesh one and the mesh two. Let's call it just mesh, okay? And, ha and here you have the choice between uh, three types of uh, operation you can do. So collage means uh, joining in French. So su str means a, a kind of under structure and superpose uh, it's the same thing in english so from my understanding uh, what's changed is that if you use the first one collage which means joining um, you need to have exactly the same um, the same elements on the surface so your elements from the two faces much must match exactly otherwise it will not work so instead but if you use this command, I think you don't need to define a contact like we will uh, do it after. So maybe it's uh, it's easier, but you need to create a mesh which really matches. Uh, so if we want to uh, just do a simple, you know, superposition of the two mesh sets and then create a contact between them, we use the superpose command. So use let's use that. So next step is to uh, create a create um, a model. So assign a finite element model. So this is so we assign directly to the the combination of the assembly of the mesh, uh, and so we create. We have to assign it to every element, and this will be. 3D type. Okay, so in this window we don't need any anything. 
more let's create a material so uh, define material um, so let's define linear isotropic material here we have to remember that the unit we're using must have to be consistent so I think I did a small mistake in the in the beam video where the unit was wasn't consistent so you you have to be uh, careful about that uh, but what I mean consistent is that if I define the um, if the unit of my geometry is millimeter then here uh, it has to be uh, MPA as the unit for the pressure so it's 200,000 but if uh, the unit is meter then um, then it has to be in a PA actually so uh, here in this case uh, I can say the unit is in meter so I'll have to define the young mollus in um, in PA actually so 2 2 of the power 9 0 0.3 Okay, and I don't need anything else. Uh, and now let's assign this material to my model directly. Okay, only one. Okay, it's done. Okay, so now, now I created the material, I created the mold, I created the mesh. Uh, now I need the next uh, step is to assign the boundary conditions and the loads. So to do that, go into assign mechanical load. So let's do the easy uh, things first. So let's select, don't forget to select the model here. Uh, and let's create the constraint on the left face. So let's select the group of elements left okay um, and let's fix all the degrees of freedom so I only need to fix the three translation because I remind you that a uh, solid element has only three degrees of freedom it doesn't have any uh, rotation degrees of freedom okay uh, and let's assign also uh, the pressure loading. So the pressure loading is under press, um, I think press rep. Okay, pressure. Well, actually I don't really care because this is a tutorial, so I'll just put 100 as the value. Uh, but what we are really uh, interested in to know is if the contact works. So I didn't talk about that right now. So, but I will. Okay, I forgot to select select the group of elements, which is right. Okay, so you have to select mesh two right. Okay. Okay, uh, and now it's time to define the contact. So the contact is defined as a load. So it is inside the same window assign mechanical load so you click ha here and I'll, I'll call it contact so actually you can say the contact is also some kind of boundary condition right so uh, going to contact and the the contact is the keyword called liaison uh, mail which means basically um, mesh connection so this is what it means in French so let's let's do that and now we are in the crucial phase for our contact to work so uh, first we see that we have different types of connection so we have called massive which means uh, kind of which, which means volume basically and cock which means uh, shell so you you understand basically that you have four types one is shell shell one one is shell uh, volume what is volume volume and one is volume shell um, now, why is there shell volume and volume shell? Because there is a difference between um, one side of the contact is the master and the other side is the slave. And this is different. So the master will impose the, um, the degrees of freedom over the slave. So that's why um, 
the the one on the left is the slave from what i remember uh, reading when i read the documentation so the, the the one on the left is the slave and the one on the right is the master so now i have volume volume so i'll choose this one so which which was the first one selected and we see that uh, here we have we have to select first the master group which is a volume volumic type so that, that's why i defined this one so I click here, okay. Um, and now we have to select the, the slave one. Okay, uh, and sorry, I have to select on the mesh too. So I have to change the mesh here, okay. Um, and if you know already how to use Codaster, you probably realize that I made a mistake, but this is wanted so you will see why after when uh, i'll show you and i'll show you how to correct that also at the end of the video so you have to watch all the video to understand how to really uh, assign correctly this uh, contact um, okay so and that's all you need basically so just click on okay okay now that i have all of that let's just define my uh, static mechanical analysis so let's select the material, the model, and the two loads. So the boundary conditions and add the second one, which is the contact. Okay, uh, that's all. I may want to add stresses also, so I'll have to use the calc champ function, which means the calculating field uh, and will give me the additional result fields. and don't forget to to mention it has to be the same name than uh, this one otherwise you won't get those results inside your uh, result file uh, and for the stresses this is the command you need contrainte means a stress in French so uh, you know, at the same time you're learning a few words which is uh, not bad <laughs> but you know it would have been better to to write it as stress I totally agree with that but anyway uh, okay so this is the keyword uh, sigma ne means um, that I will get okay let no I, I won't use this one I will use sigma l no which means I will get the stresses which sigma uh, is usually the Greek sign used for stress in uh, French so that's why it's called sigma and l means element and no means note so I, I want the sigma at the element nodes basically this is what it means so let's click on OK create that and in the output now we need to output those results somewhere so there is a common set output results and let's give it a name so um, let's contact and the air med so the, the file to, to see the, the results, the post-processing has to be called AirMed, so you can open it after that with Paravis. So, and here, let's activate the results. Okay. Okay, and my analysis is basically set up. So let's run it and see if it works. And I hope it does. But you know, it's it's always a surprise it's always like the kind of expectation will it work or not from the first try oh it doesn't okay let's go back and see what i did wrong so basically you click on the message file and you have some Ah, okay, I understand. So that's a very uh, small error, which means that it tells me that the memory that I used is too small to solve this. And the reason is because when I clicked here on run, it tells me that it will use 1000 uh, memory, so 1 giga of RAM. So let's put it to 3 giga and see if this time it works. Please give me some results 
Yes, yes, it's green. Nice. Okay, let's go back and let's open this. Let's open those results and see what we have. Open in Paravis. So I hope that uh, I will get my contact results, right? So let's go here and select this placement. Oh, and here there's something strange, right? There's something strange, but as I told you before, I, kn I knew it would happen because uh, that, that was to, to show you something important. So here you have everything is red and you only get uh, this part which is uh, deforming basically. So it means that this part here is totally rigid. So this part doesn't uh, deform. And why is that? Why is that? Let's think about it for one minute. Uh, it doesn't deform because on this side, I, I told uh, the solver that this was the master uh, part and this, this is the, the slave part. But as I told you, all the nodes from the slave are totally uh, moving as the node of the master face. So the node of the master face here uh, will move all that. So basically this becomes all rigid because I associated all the mesh set as the, the slave node. So I, I'll have to do a small change in the, in the model in order to work. So let's go back, let's go back into um, Aster study and let's take a look again at the, the contact. The contact definition because obviously this is where the problem lies. Okay, and here you see that for uh, the master group, well, there's only one option, so it, it cannot be that, right? But for the slave, you have two options. You can either associate a mesh uh, as the slave or you can associate a group of nodes. Uh, and so I'll tell you the solution right now. The, the solution is not to associate the full uh, mesh set, but to associate uh, a plane uh, of nodes on the face of the slave. So I'll have to go back to the mesh module in order to create a new group of the nodes at the interface on the slave part and then because now I don't have that, so if I click on edit, I have basically nothing, right? So it doesn't work. So, so I'll simply you know, cancel that, close that. Let's go back to the mesh module. And this is where the, the updating of the mesh comes handy. Otherwise you have to export the mesh again, load it again, and you know, that's, that becomes a bit, uh, cumbersome. So let's display only the mesh 2 because this is my slave mesh. Uh, on a side note which is uh, something important is that when you have uh, two mesh sets which are of different size of mesh, the um, if I'm not so if I'm not mistaken um, the slave is generally the one which has um, smaller smaller mesh size but it has to be verified i'm not 100 percent sure uh, but anyway there is a difference of size so generally you choose the master in function of the size of the mesh at the connection so one of the two has to be smaller i'm not 100 percent sure it was the slave maybe it's the master so i'll let you check that uh, and i'll probably write it under the video so on the blog uh, if I, I will check after the video. So anyway, let's create the, the nodes at the interface. So I need a group of nodes. So let's create a group of nodes. Um, okay, create group. Okay, create groups. Um, so one thing that I tried previously was to select the mesh set like that. And you know, you, you put the right angle, which is like that. And you know, I, I would hope that you can select manually the nodes by uh, doing like that, you know. So it looks like everything is selected. But if you turn the model like that, you see that only part of the node are selected. I don't know why. 
probably it's a limitation of the graphical interface or something but anyway there are red nodes and and uh, yellow nodes which shows that it's it's not working if you select like that so uh, I won't select them one by one uh, so let's close that and let's search for another solution and I think the solution comes from uh, creates a group from geometry right uh, let's add this mesh set again and let's add okay let's select again so you have the option nodes here so and I think if I select if I go here in box so this is the box 2 right uh, if I select the contact to face I click here okay uh, apply and close and you have a new group which is a group of nodes which appears and this group of nodes is what I wanted in order to create the contact so now that I have that let's go back to Aster study so I hope the mesh set uh, auto updated the group let's go to my contact let's go to here and this time so if you uncheck and you check that I, I see that the box 2 will remain so that's I don't know that's probably an error as well so you have to go into delete it like that click on OK so it doesn't display here and then uh, select this one now mesh 2 and now we have the node on the interface nice click on OK and let's try to solve again mystery will it work now that's the second thrill let's launch again the solver okay it works now well it worked previously as well so <laughs> let's see if now we have the correct kind of results right so let's hide the previous one and let's display this okay okay that's much better much much better um, so let's now let, let's just display the stresses to see also uh, if if the stresses are correct or not you never know so pop, pop, pop. okay properties so you see that the stresses are here so it means that they are included in the model but they do not display here because I have to define a filter so go in filters mechanics and what I want is L no fill to surface activate that I don't know why they made it so complicated you know they could have add the result from the start anyway um, okay so I think I got it okay and I got some stresses uh, you know you notice that the stresses are very um, very kind of raw so I, I, I think I didn't get so good values uh, probably because the mesh is too uh, too large um, so another another thing okay let's do that too I think it would be uh, interesting let's check the error uh, on the mesh so you see that here you have red areas here so why do you have red areas here so you may think that oh this red part well this this is the the result from FEA right so the this is the value that stress is taking in this area well actually this is an error due to the calculation uh, because simply those areas are maybe are over constrained or something so uh, but th that's that's not so this is next to the boundary so that's that's totally normal uh, and by the way I'm doing a second uh, second remark here is that you see that at the contact interface you have some kind of um, discontinuity right so it also shows that there is um, all all is not necessarily transferred uh, hundred hundred percent well uh, so this is the problem with contacts when the contact interface is not exactly uh, well defined or the mesh is too big so you may have some problem at the contact interface uh, okay let's 
let's go back and I'll show you how to show the error on the mesh as well because it's also interesting to do that. Let's go back in Aster Study. Uh, it's actually easy to do. You just have to add one comment. So in the, I think it's post processing. Yeah, and this is something called called cac error. So use that. Use the same name, Wrestling, that I used previously. Um, and you have to define the right option. So what do we want? We want the I think air it's probably this one air me l no well I'm not totally sure but anyway let's let's this is one type of error uh, okay let's add that and let's compute again and let's check the error Okay, so I, I can directly. Oh no. Okay, let's let's open again. This open in Paravis. Okay, let's hide that. So and you see that you have now wrestling army element, which is the error. And here you are you become able to see the error. So basically, the error which is bigger is display in in red. And you see that the error on those elements here is uh, bigger than on the other areas. So it's it's a way to understand the, the mesh convergence. So that's that's also uh, interesting to 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 display. Okay, well that's all for this video about contacts. I hope you you had some fun. Uh, watching this and that you now understand how to create this kind of contact so there's still a lot of things to remain to to explain for example contact between the shell and solid and the different kind of option and all that well i i leave you to test all those uh, options and maybe i'll do another video uh, maybe uh, later so thank you very much for watching and if you have any comments or anything to say, just write it in the comment section. Uh, I'll be happy to read your thinking about uh, my model.